Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and right now I have two power folding wheelchairs here that are similar, but a couple, one major difference and some other differences as well. And you'll see in the front of the chairs we have their batteries. This is a comparison video. We're going to, in this video, demonstrate how easy it is to unfold each of these chairs, put the batteries in, and then take the batteries out. Great opportunity to go ahead and pause the video to learn where to find us online, quickandmobile.com. Okay, back to, back to business here. So we have the Electra 7 power folding wheelchair. This is a chair that we offer, has the in-frame design. Get your stopwatch out. And of course we have another chair that is also a folding chair. Um, this has the in cage or the under the cage battery system so you can find a lot of folding chairs on the marketplace that have this type of battery. Um, we're not going to mention any company names specifically because well, we, we really don't like to do that. We just like to do some show and tell. So let's take a look at the Electra 7 first. I'm actually going to sit in the Electra 7 and okay so we're going to put the stopwatch on go ahead and scoot out of the way for our mascot toby here okay there there's one battery and there is there's the other battery okay so both of those are done and let's go back here so this one it's a little bit more complicated okay i'm going to get actually on my knees here Let's, let's take a look behind the chair. So what we have to do is we have to pull this sheath back and we have to screw this into the battery. So let's take a look here. So we've got both batteries here. And then, now take a look at the Electra 7 real quick. The batteries are in the machine. They both automatically draw at the same time. This one here, I've got to network these batteries together. So if you if you're planning on leaving the the batteries in in the trunk or in the vehicle i mean there's a lot of circumstances where you want to for the integrity of the batteries jeez okay i've got to lean forward snap one battery in lean forward snap the other battery in yeah that's for the dogs i know okay now I'm pretty much sitting Indian style. There's a little notch. Now a lot of people can't sit Indian style like this, cross-legged. So you would have to be kind of on your hands and knees. And what I'm gonna do is I've gotta get in there. Now I have to really, I'm moving as fast as I can here. Not really easy. If I had like a lot smaller and thinner of fingers, it would be a lot more simple. Okay, almost done. Hope your stopwatch is on, folks. Okay, almost done, still turning it in. Gotta get this snug, otherwise, the, okay, there we go, that's snug. I put the sheath, okay, so one battery's connected. Now I've gotta do this again, okay. Now this chair, understandably, it is, you know, three, four hundred dollars less than the Electra 7 depending on where you get it. Now, next one, I'm gonna to have to, uh, let's see here how this is supposed to work. Okay, I've gotta connect this. Doing this as fast as I can. This one doesn't have a sheath. I'm going as fast as I can here. Now I've got to do the same thing here and right there, okay. No, this is not quite as easy as the other side. Yeah, I'm jamming my finger every time I kind of get it a little bit of a half circle. Uh, still got slack here. Okay. Still going. Okay, there we go. Now, how, how do you really manage this? Like, what... What if this gets caught on something and pulls? I mean, I don't really feel, oh, God, guys, get back up. Don't feel totally comfortable with that, but okay, now, now this is done. Okay, so now we've 
got the chairs, right? We're, they, they look similar. One has what I consider to be the back breaker battery cage. Another thing that you can notice is this does not have an underseat basket. And what a lot of people like to do when they transport this, let's take a look here. This joystick, I'm taking the joystick off. Where does the joystick go if I'm putting this in the vehicle? Where if I take the joystick off this one right here, one of the things people really like about this design, joystick comes off and I'm transporting it in the trunk. I don't want to get the joystick jostled on anything. Look how simple that is. So that, that is a solved issue where this, I've got to worry about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on just because I don't want to lose the joystick. So that's one more issue. Okay, now let's go ahead and get the batteries out of the chair. Okay, so I'm going to sit in this chair. There's a little knob behind each battery here. So I'm going to press. Okay, there's one battery out. I'm going to press behind the other battery. There's the other battery out. Okay, the joystick's already off the chair. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold this up. And there we go. We're done deal. Um, just because I want to be efficient with my time. Let's see, there's one battery put back in. I'm just giving, for if you're timing this, we're going to time just taking the batteries out of this other chair. So I'm just going to do in and out. There we go. Both of them are back in. Okay, now for the other one. What am I going to do, Toby? I've got to get back down there on the floor, don't I? Okay, I know this is for the dogs, right? Okay, back on the floor. And, uh, okay, so this time I'm just going to try to, I'm going to try to be efficient with my time. I'm going to deal with this one. Get that unscrewed, yanked out. Got to yank this one out. Got to yank this one out. Okay, I've got both of these and they're networked together, so now I've got to basically get right in here. I'm going to separate the batteries. I mean, it, it's much better if you have really tiny, thin little fingers. So this has to come apart. There we go. I don't even want to bother taking this thing out, but I'm, I'm going to just because this is a demonstration of how these batteries work. Okay, there we go. I mean, God forbid this gets corroded or something like that. And now I've got, got this uh, done and addressed. Okay, I've got to go ahead and get back up. And there we go. So I would just ask yourself, as far as ease and convenience, you notice the pain of spending a few extra hundred dollars one time okay just once but if you have these chairs for three four five six seven eight years you deal with the pain every single time you have to manage the batteries you deal with a certain amount of pain dealing with these batteries versus a certain amount of ease and convenience dealing with these batteries with this chair. Before I conclude the video, so we're just going to kind of ask you to ask yourselves, is it really worth it to save a couple hundred dollars to give yourselves, and if you think about how many minutes each time you have to deal with this and how many times you're going to have to deal with the batteries, can't really leave them out in the cold winter, can't leave them out in the hot summer, there's time, you know, the, the batteries do add weight. So let me take those batteries in and out with this chair folded up very easily. So granted, this chair also folds up easily, but unfortunately, look at this. Let's take a look at this. The cage right here, that cage is not allowing me to deal with those batteries while the chair is folded. So I cannot drop them in and go. Sorry, folks, can't do that. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. Ease and convenience. Or getting on your hands and knees every single time you want to deal with the batteries. Again, this is Paul from Quick and Mobile. One more, one more opportunity to see who we are. Quickandmobile.com. And 
our mascot here, Toby. We all thank you for watching this video and we hope you take this into consideration as you're shopping for which chair is the right choice. Thank you for watching.